Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl Melina back at it again with another makeup tutorial on this look right here. I try to do a modernized uh, pinup girl look. Now, of course, I need the wardrobe and the hair to follow, but this was just a quick, um, you know, a quick video that I did on how a pinup girl would look like today. So, if you like this look, make sure you stay tuned and you... Uh, watch the whole video make sure you give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and Leave me a comment down below with any questions or any comments that you may have. Thanks for watching dolls Hey you guys so I've already moisturized and um, I've already applied my foundation and um, If it does look to different shades, it's because I'm doing a comparison on two different foundations um, that you will see a video of link down below uh, but for the purpose of this video I'm already set now I'm just gonna work on my eyes I'm going for a very pinup look um, so let's get started look I'm gonna be using um, nude colors mainly because um, you know back then they were very basic with their colors very nude Maybe a little brown here and there. Um, so for this look, I'm going to be using the Fenty. Not Fenty. For this look, I'm going to be using the um, Huda Beauty Nude Palette. And I absolutely love these shades here, you guys. Um, very romantic. Very sultry, as you can see. So today, I'm going to be going in with Urban Decay All Nighter Primer for this and I'm just gonna be blending it out with my finger in an upwards motion all right so I'm gonna start setting my lid with a fluffy brush any fluffy brush will work um, so I'm gonna go in with the shade Bear, which is this right here. I'm just gonna dab it in the product and just gonna dust it on my lid ever so lightly. I'm so upset, you guys. I was planning on wearing these lashes that I wore the other day for this video, and I took them off and I can't find them anywhere. They're lost. They're gone. I'm so sad because I only wore them once and they were so nice. So now that I have set my lid, now I'm going to go in with my transition color. And I'm going to be using this peachy color right here called Play. And I'm just going to go ahead and use the same brush. Um, no big deal. Just dabbing it into the product. And... And I'm kind of just like um, dabbing it onto my eye. I'm not really like doing any blending yet or like swishing or none of that. Just kind of packing it onto my lid. So I know right now like the hot pink eyeshadow and purples and crazy neon cool colors are really in right now. But back then, everything was more modest, more conservative. So, just applying one or two shades on your lids was already plenty. They did the bare minimum, and it just still looked gorgeous. So, gotta give it up to them. They didn't have all the, like, products and brushes that we have now so they worked with what they had so now I'm gonna work my way to the shade Teddy which is this pretty light brown right here and I'm just gonna concentrate that shade on my outer corner and just pack it on my lid once it's packed 
then I'm just gonna go ahead and gently just with the tip of my brush work in circular motions to blend it inwards all right so now that I have blended that teddy in I'm gonna go in to the other side of my eye and do the same thing and there you have it now I'm gonna go ahead and pick up um, with a more condensed brush this is called a crease brush and it's just like more condensed I'm gonna go ahead and pick up T's which is this one right here I'm just gonna intensify this eye look a little bit and I'm just gonna be dabbing it on the outer corner with the same fluffy brush that I've been using and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out just ever so lightly Okay hey guys, so now I'm going to go in and just apply a lipstick really quickly. This is a Sephora um, liquid lipstick, shade 95. And I am emphasizing that little Cupid's bow, making it a little bit pointy because that was very popular back in the day. Now before I look all crazy, let me go back and finish working on my eyes and on the rest of my face. Okay, so right now I'm just gonna go in with my Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. And you can use any mascara that you have. I'm just um, using this one because I got it in my BoxyCharm box a couple months ago. And all I'm doing is just kind of combing them. I'm not going to make them look all crazy. I'm just prepping them for the lashes. So once you have applied your um, mascara to your lashes, then you're going to go ahead and start prepping your lashes themselves, your falsies. So today I'm going to be using these 3D Fox Mink Ardell lashes. Um, I think these were like five or six bucks at Walgreens. Very affordable, but they still look cute. Now you all know that back in the day, um, false lashes were not really a thing, but I'm kind of throwing my own little modernized version over here so I'm going to take these out of their packaging this is in the style 854 3D Fox Man. I'm going to be using my duo lash glue and now that I have that on I'm going to go ahead and move on to my eyeliner for eyeliner, I'm going to be using a Maybelline New York Eye Studio in Black is Black Gel Liner. And I am just using the brush that the eyeliner came with. And you can use pencil because pencil was what they used to wear back then. But I love gel liner. So I'm just going to... Actually, I do have another brush that I really like. This was from Sure Cover. It's a really old brush. I'm sure you can find dupes for it nowadays. Um, but I like it because it's angled and it allows me to reach um, the edge, the corner of my eye that I don't want to apply the other brush on because 
I might make it too thick. I really want to maintain how thin I got it going on right now. I feel like eyeliner was everything in this era. So it's definitely something that you have to apply if you're going for the pinup look. Now you could either um, just apply mascara at the bottom and not apply any um, pencil black eyeliner at the bottom or you can apply some black pencil eyeliner. Now I'm going to go ahead and look up. By the way, the uh, pencil eyeliner that I used was the NYX profession Professional Makeup um, Eyeliner Stick. Let me finish putting some mascara on the bottom of my lashes. And you know what? Back then, they didn't really apply bronzer or highlight. They applied blush, which I will be doing. Very quickly, let me do these eyebrows because I am looking crazy without eyebrows. Today I'm using my Morphe um, eyeliner angled brush and I am using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. And I'm going to be applying my eyebrows um, kind of like how I do now, but no ombre, nothing, just, you know, a very natural shape. A very natural application more of a powdered look now if you really wanted to be vintage you would just draw like super thin line but we're not gonna take you there you guys Cause like I said this is more of a modern take to the pinup look And you know, the pinup makeup um, alone is great, but in order for it to be a pinup look, you need to have the hair, the wardrobe, and just the lifestyle in general. So I know I said I wasn't going to um, highlight or do bronzer, but I'm just going to, can't help myself. I'm going to go in very lightly with the Pretty Vulgar in Bronze B. 113 bronze mannequin and I'm just gonna go very lightly with the same brush that I used for my blush and I'm just gonna apply some down here at the bottom just because you know I am and my camera keeps dying you guys so I need to hurry up I'm just gonna apply a little bit on my high points here a little bit on my nose a little bit right here and that's about it all right you guys so this is my look for my modernized pinup look let me know what you guys think and if you do like it make sure you subscribe to my channel and you give me a thumbs up thanks for watching